Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another love read. We're going to see what is surrounding you and the person that you're dealing with in love for the upcoming days and week. Please like, share, subscribe if this resonates. Uh, feel free to reverse the roles as it is a general reading. And this video can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Cancerian placements. To the cross watchers tuning into this reading, feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you. Remember, you can reverse the roles. And we're going freestyle with this reading where we're going to kind of do like a you versus them love style reading. Cancer, if you're not dealing with anyone specifically, then feel free to um, swap this person for uh, like a friend or a family member or whoever you are dealing with. Okay, so if you're not dealing with anyone specifically in love, then you can substitute it for a friend or a family member. Okay. All right, guys, and I do want to apologize for the delay in the readings this week. I did take a little bit of time out just to rejuvenate and refresh myself as I was feeling really tired with the events of the last several weeks. Um, so, yeah, I'm back and here I am doing a love reading for you guys. Let's take a look at your overall energy this week, Spirit. Please show us Cancer's energy in love for the upcoming days and week. Spirit, okay, you're coming through as the frog. This is downward pointing triangle represents the element of water. So I feel like this is true to your nature this week. Okay, to me, the frog represents the end of a life cycle. So you may be... You may be dealing with a breakup here. You may be dealing with the end of a, a situation or the end of a connection. Okay, for some of you Cancerians, you may be experiencing some grief. Okay, to me, there is a releasing energy happening around you. For some of you, you could be crying. This is emotional tears, but tears are healthy, okay? Because it means that you might be coming to accept that it's time to release and release someone or let someone go. Okay, tell us more about this frog energy, Spirit. Tell us more about this frog energy. Okay, we've got the Five of Wands. Five of Wands. For some of you Cancerians, you could have been dealing with someone here that made you chase after them or fight for their attention. You've got the Chariot here. Major Arcana for Cancer. One fell on the ground, Cancer. Um... Okay, I'll take the top one, Six of Pentacles. So yeah, it was the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands fell on the ground, but as you know me here on the channel, I don't take the cards that fall on the ground. Uh, for some of you, this person was hard work or the relationship was hard work. Maybe you felt like you put a lot of effort into it because there's the Five of Wands. This person made you chase them or it felt like you were chasing them. Mm. To me, um, the Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, it feels like the relationship was one-sided. It felt like you were pouring into the relationship more than what you were receiving. I'm feeling with the chariot here for you, Cancer, that you're very determined to move on with your life okay you're very determined to move on with your life tell us more about this chariot yeah the high priestess so your intuition's been telling you for quite some excuse me has been telling you for quite some time it's it's time to move on it's time to move forward for others of you you're already well underway 
okay you're already on your way to moving on with your life but there is this element of um, grief surrounding you or maybe for some of you cancerians um, maybe you're still needing to purge that last little bit out can we clarify the five of wands justice yeah, it felt like it, it just didn't seem fair to you. It feels like, see, you're upset, Cancer, because it wasn't fair. You're saying to me, your higher self is is telling me, Rosa, it's not fair. Um, it was very one-sided. I chased this person or, or I fought for the relationship. The Justice card is telling me here it's, it's un, it was an unfair or an unfortunate situation. This person made you compete for them or fight for them here, but they didn't fight for you. Yeah, they didn't fight for you. Let's uh, take a look at these Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may have felt like a fire sign was very selfish. This, You may feel like this person wanted you to give and be generous with them, but they were not being generous with you in return. Mm. But I like the Queen of Wands because you're on your way to self-empowerment. The Queen of Wands, she's very empowering. So I feel like you're taking control back or you're gaining your confidence back here with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a quiet confidence coming through here with you. I feel that you've stopped being generous with this person. I feel like I'm drawn to the queen's feet. She's wearing heels. <laughs> She's wearing heels. And you know that, sta um, that meme, it says, um, my standards are higher than my heels. So I feel like you have a high standard for yourself now. Or you're expecting this person to meet your standards now. Or you might not be expecting anything from them, but you're like, my standards are higher now as a result of you knowing your value and knowing your worth. I see for a lot of you Cancerians, you are putting your foot down here. Okay, you are putting your foot down because... Um, you know you're expected you're expecting more from this person um i feel like you've gone through a spiritual upgrade you won't accept anything less than equal or fair or balanced here you won't ex you won't ac ac accept sorry mercury retrograde i'm feeling tongue tied <laughs> You won't accept anything other than fair, balance, and just. Okay. For some of you, you're seeking justice. Could be with the Libran here. All right, Cancer, let's take a look at your person's energy. Whoops. We're going to use the animal spirit cards. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. Cancer. And a big shout out and thank you to each and every one of you who have supported me on my new Instagram page. Uh, if you would like to come join me over there and support me on that platform, feel free to do so. You will find the link in the show more section below i am also on tiktok where i will be posting exclusive only content so feel free to support me on tiktok also 
Okay, so your person is coming through as the bat. The upward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent the element of air. You could be dealing with an air sign here. I want to say I'm hearing vampire bat. So for some of you, this person may be toxic. They may have drained you. They may have taken a lot from you energetically, spiritually, physically, mentally. I feel like this person, yeah, just took a lot from you. Um, but let's find out more about this bat spirit. Tell us more about this bat spirit. Okay. Five of swords. This is air energy. I'm getting, I'm getting that maybe this person ghosted you. I don't know. I'm getting like a ghosting energy with the bat. This person may have ghosted you or just, you know, vanished into thin air. It's, that's what it feels like to me, like this person vanished into thin air or they ghosted you. I'm getting like a runner type energy from this bat. But with the five of swords here, it's telling me that this person is thinking about you and they are having regrets. Maybe they did this because they thought that you would chase them because maybe in the past, like I said, Cancer, this person made you chase them a lot. They were used to that. Okay, you may have um, sustained their ego with constantly chasing them or validating them here, but I feel like you stopped doing that once you knew your value and you, you raised your standards for yourself. And I feel like this person is looking back with regret. I get a sense that this person is looking back with regret. Initially, they may have felt like they had one up on you, but it feels like the tables are turned. All right, tell us more, spirit, tell us more, tell us more. The magician. Interesting, the magician. This person may just make a reappearance in your life. And it could feel like they're appearing out of nowhere. Okay, the bat tells me here that this person has been hiding. But with the magician, it's like, woohoo. It's like a jack-in-the-box, you know? <laughs> um, so it could feel like this person just appears out of nowhere this week. It's like with the magician, now you see me, now you don't. Now you don't, now you see me. <laughs> we are currently in a Mercury retrograde, so don't be surprised if this person just magically appears in your life or just reappears in your life. Mm. All right, tell us more. Sorry, I'm just king of wands. Could be a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of wands. It appears, Cancer, that this person is still attracted to you. Sometimes I feel like this person is overly confident or overly cocky that's what i'm getting straight away with the magician and the king of wands overly confident and overly cocky mm. i do feel like this person has a very big ego okay can we clarify this King of Wands judgment card? 
So don't be surprised if this person returns to you this week or if there's a reappearance of this person entering, re-entering your life or entering your life. Yeah, it's like the angel here, the angel in the judgment card. It's kind of like you're, get, you're going to receive some kind of a sign. It could be that this person wants to resurrect the connection. Okay. Can we clarify this magician? Oh, I don't take reversals in this deck. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to reach out this this week. I feel like this person's going to reach out this week, Cancer. It might just be a small gesture that they're offering. All right, let's have a look at this Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I'm seeing Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Big Leo energy here and Taurus energy. It feels like someone that you walked away from is reappearing into your life. Yeah, I'm getting that really, really strongly. Okay, so what do they want with cancer? What does this person want with cancer? Let's find out. You know what? I'm going to use a different deck. What does this person want with cancer? What do they want with cancer? What is this person's real and true intentions with cancer here? One more shuffle, cancer. Okay, it's very windy here today. Okay, what does this person want with cancer? What is it that they want with cancer? Seven of Wands. They want to see if they can open you back up to them again. We can see here that you're very closed off or that you're protecting your energy, but this person can feel and sense that you are doing this. The Seven of Wands is telling me here that this person is going to come towards you uh, fight for the connection to see if you will open up to them. There's a very guarded and defensive energy on your end. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. What do they want here with Cancer? What do they want here? What is this person's intentions? What is this person's true intentions here with cancer? What is this person's true intentions here with cancer? Yeah, nine of wands. Because even with the nine of wands in this deck, I get a boundary. Okay, um, their intentions is to break down your barriers. Their intention is to, yeah, get you to lower your your defense or to get you to lower your boundary i don't feel like they want to break your boundaries i don't feel like they want to disrespect your boundaries i feel like they're trying to come in and kind of like sort of butter you up and get you to warm back up to them again That's what I get. Can we clarify this six of pentacles? Yeah, I'm telling you right now. They they miss the soft, caring side that you offer. They miss, because the empress, she's very nurturing. Um, she's very empathic. She's very feminine. She's very warm. She's very loving. She's very understanding. I feel like this person misses all of these beautiful qualities that you possess. I also want to say here that they might be coming in with the Empress here, showing you more signs of respect. 
okay so because we we respect the empress okay we we respect the empress we treat her with respect So um, this person's intentions here, Cancer, could be that they're coming in, uh, showing you more signs of respect. Yeah. All right. Let's grab some Romance Angel Oracle cards, shall we? Just to uh, wrap up this reading and close out this reading. Let me know, Cancer, in the comments section below how this reading best resonated with you and your current situation. I do hope that this reading offered you some insight, some clarity and some guidance here today. And I do hope it was of value. So please let me know. And also do let me know if I mentioned the sign of your person also with the Empress, we've got Taurus energy and big Libran energy. Okay, last parting message for Cancer, we've got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I do get a sense here that, remember I said this person's intentions is to come in and lower your defences. So they could be doing that through the art of play or being playful or being childlike with you here. Okay. Um, it could be flirty, but I, I'm not getting too much flirty because I'm getting with the Empress that they're being very respectful towards you or they're showing signs of respect. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your reading, Cancer. Let me know in the comment section below how it resonated. And until my next video, take care. Bye, Cancer.